Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss instance based learning technique. I will discuss the key idea behind instance based learning, advantages, disadvantages, and the algorithms which use instance based learning concept. In contrast to learning methods that construct a general explicit description of the target function when the training examples are provided, instance based learning constructs the target function only when a new instance must be classified. That is, in general learning methods like uh, SVM, Bayesian classification or decision tree, they construct the target function when the training examples are provided. As and when the training examples are given, those algorithms construct the description of a target function. But in instance based learning, the target function is constructed only when the new instance to be classified. That is, whenever a new instance or a query is encountered, its relationship to the previously stored examples is examined in order to assign a target function value for the new instance. I will take a simple example to uh, convince this particular concept. Let us say that uh, we have been given uh, five uh, instances with the height and weight as, as the attributes and the target is the target function in this case. So in the first five examples, uh, there are two classes are there. One is uh, the medium and another one is large here. Uh, in instance based learning, whenever we give these uh, examples or the instances, the training will never happen. What actually happens is whenever we want to classify the new instance, then the relationship of this new instance is identified with respect to the, the given training examples and based on that a target value will be assigned here. So uh, usually uh, in uh, instance based learning uh, technique we use uh, something called as uh, the distance measure to find the relationship of uh, the new instance with respect to the training examples. Once you find the distance based on the nearest neighbors uh, we will uh, find uh, the target function over here. Instance based learning includes uh, nearest neighbors and uh, locally weighted uh, regression methods that assume the instances can be represented as a points in uh, Euclidean space. It also includes uh, case based reasoning methods that use uh, more complex symbolic representation for instances. Instance based methods are sometimes referred to as uh, lazy learning methods or delayed learning methods because they delay the processing until the new instance must be classified. So unless and until we get a new instance to be classified, the instance based learning technique will never uh, do anything. So that's the reason they are called as lazy learning methods or delayed learning methods in this case. The key advantage of uh, this kind of uh, learning technique is that instead of uh, estimating the target function once for the entire instance space these methods can estimate it locally and differently for each new instance to be classified that is uh, in other training uh, or the learning algorithms we estimate the target function once for the entire uh, data set but in this case uh, what we do is Whenever a new instance came, we will try to estimate the target function locally and differently for each new instance. So that is the main advantage of uh, using uh, instance based learning technique here. So more precisely, uh, instance based learning methods uh, such as uh, nearest neighbor and local weighted regressions are uh, conceptually straightforward approaches to approximate the real valued as well as the discrete values uh, functions. For example, if we have a target uh, as the discrete valued or the real valued, we can use instance based learning techniques. The learning in these algorithms consists of uh, simply storing the presented uh, training data. Uh, that is what I said. We don't do anything at the time of uh, training. We just store those particular training instances into the memory. When a new query uh, instances encountered, a set of uh, similarly related instances are uh, retrieved from the memory 
and used to classify the new instance in this case. Instance based approaches uh, can construct a different approximation to the target functions for each distinct query that must be classified. Uh, following are the advantages of uh, instance based uh, learning technique. Uh, the very first advantage is uh, the training is very fast. Of course, the training is very fast because we don't do anything at the training uh, time. We just store the instances into the memory. So that's the reason the training is very fast. Instance based learning technique uh, can learn a complex uh, target function. Uh, as said earlier, uh, the target function can be a discrete valued or it may be a real valued function. So it, it can work on both the set of uh, target functions. So hence, uh, you can say that it can be used to solve the complex uh, problems. Uh, the very important advantage of instance based learning is they don't lose any information because entire instance space is used to classify the new instance hence there is no possibility of uh, uh, losing of uh, information in this case. Coming back to the disadvantages of uh, instance based learning, the cost of classifying a new instance can be high of course uh, because we don't do anything at the training time everything is uh, just stored into the memory. But when you want to classify the new example or instance, uh, we have to find the uh, related examples. Based on those related examples, we can assign the class label or we can predict the value of a real valid function. In many instance based approaches, especially in uh, nearest neighbor approaches, they typically consider all attributes for uh, classifying the new instance. That is nothing but for example, uh, if you have around uh, 10 attributes, all the 10 attributes are considered while classifying the new instance. But uh, that may not be a good thing when it comes to the real valid example. We should not consider all the attributes, we should consider only the attributes which are really required to classify the new instance into one of the class or while predicting the value for a, a new instance. Uh, that is another disadvantage uh, with respect to instance based learning because we consider all the attributes to classify the new instance or to predict the value of the new instance. That should not happen actually uh, but it is happening in instance based learning. So in this video I have discussed uh, what is the key idea behind instance based learning, how actually it works what are the advantages and disadvantages of instance based learning. In the next video, I will discuss uh, the nearest neighbor as well as locally weighted uh, regression algorithms with numerical examples. Do find those particular videos in the description below. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.